Chapter 14, Melody Boxer It went without saying that my brother was an idiot. It was bad enough sharing a house with him when there was a working front door and you could make a quick getaway. But our house? Sigh. If I had to listen to one more lecture about Cam and his lifestyle, I was going to lose it. Cam's so-called lifestyle was just an excuse to be a video game addicted couch potato. I longed for Mum and Dad to see through Cam's smokescreen. I prayed for it. I thought it had finally come the day of the scorched city. I was so happy. But no. Suddenly, there was the PAG and Cam was off the hook again. So, imagine my reaction when I saw the front page of the Sycamore Gazette. The Clinker Chronicle Positive Action Turns to Heroism for Middle Schoolers by Audra Clinker, Gazette Staff Reporter it's a scenario all parents are familiar with, youngsters helping. We applaud their noble goals, but intentionally or not, they often do as much harm as good. These thoughts were uppermost in my mind as I trekked out to the Senior Citizens Garden Project on 7th Street to observe the first good deed of the Positive Action Group, a new community service club at Sycamore Middle School. What I saw there at first was exactly what I expected to see well-meaning tweens and young teens, some of them working, some of them a little rowdy. If their hearts were in the right place, their gardening skills left something to be desired. Many didn't know the difference between a weed and a vegetable. The kids might have shown a little more sensitivity toward their elderly hosts. Then, true heroism emerged. A small trickle of water in the building next door caught the attention of Cameron Boxer, the PAG president. His quick thinking led to the rescue of Mrs. Isadora Klebner, 78, after a household accident. Every single member of the PAG contributed wholeheartedly to this errand of mercy. All citizens of Sycamore owed them a debt of gratitude and a hearty well done. Most impressive of all is Cameron Boxer himself, a modest young man who never toots his own horn and always steps back from the spotlight. Please don't write about this in the Gazette, he begged me after the ambulance had taken Mrs. Kebner away to a hospital. I honestly got the impression that he would have been happiest if I had forgotten the whole thing. Well, tough luck, Cameron Boxer. You and the boys and girls of PAG are heroes in Sycamore today. I honestly wanted to rip out the article with my teeth, chew it up, spit it out, and flush it down the toilet. Bad enough, my brother conjured up a fake club to fool Mom and Dad into believing he changed his slacker ways. But now he was a hero for it. I'd always known that Audra Clinker was a crummy journalist, and here was the proof. Nobody bothered to ask what Cam was doing in that apartment building to begin with. I could have told them. It was because their hero couldn't go more than 45 minutes without video games. For sure he was playing on his phone when he noticed that trickle of water. The amazing thing was that he did something about it. Normally, Cam wouldn't pause a video game if his house was on fire. Oh yeah, it was. And he didn't. And we got the door to show for it. Sigh. Don't get me wrong, I liked video games too, but Cam was such a console hog that I had to go over to Katrina's if I wanted to play. I tried to get him to draw up a schedule so we could share the system. You know what he said? that I wasn't a serious gamer on an ill level, like him. And Mom and Dad were too preoccupied with the store to realize how unfair their darling son was being. Speaking of my parents, they were ecstatic over Audra Clinker's article. Face it, she had painted a picture of the son they'd always wanted to have. Pretty soon, the clipping held the place of honor on our refrigerator, right above the latest circular for Boxer's Furniture Showroom. Well. I knew exactly why my flake brother had started the positive action group, and it had nothing to do with helping senior citizens or anybody else. My mother was annoyed with me. You're just jealous, and there's no reason for it. You're a PAG member, too. This article is also about you. Yeah, I agreed without enthusiasm. I'm every single member. I better hire a bodyguard to fight off the paparazzi. I'd only joined the PAG so I'd have a front row seat when my brother's creation blew up in his face. The last thing I expected was for Audra Clinker to turn him into a knight in shining armor. I added, you know why Cam was in the apartment building in the first place? 
He was gaming while we were all working. Doesn't that sound a little bit more like him than Hero? No matter what I said, what argument I made, my parents refused to see it. I was just the resentful little sister jealous of all the attention my brother was getting. Was I jealous? Why wouldn't I be? If I pulled something like this, I'd be swatted down like a gnat. Just watching Cam getting away with it was giving me cramps. You're so lucky to be an only child, I told Katrina as I slumped into the beanbag chair in her room, surrounded by her posters of Star Trek, Star Wars, and Battlestar Galactica. I needed to relax with some video games. I reached for the controller and froze. Wait a minute. What's that doing there? Taped to the wall obscuring Jabba the Hutt was today's Clinker Chronicle. Didn't you see it? Katrina asked. See it? My parents bought twenty copies. Why do you have it? She looked surprised. Didn't you have fun on Saturday? I made a face. I'm still trying to get the mud out from under my fingernails. It was amazing, she exclaimed. Sixth graders are total nobodies in middle school. But in the PAG, you hang out with upperclassmen. You know String McBean actually smiled at me? And my best friend's brother is the head of the whole thing. I just stared at her. How could two people live through the same experience and see it so differently? And the part where we saved that lady's life? Obviously, she added. That was pretty cool, too. Cam was awesome. Does he have a girlfriend? Sigh. First my parents, now Katrina. Was there no escaping my stupid brother?